everybody welcome to YS Kong driving and this my dear friends is the Lotus Emira and this is a very significant car in the lineup of Lotus because if you have the money okay it costs about 1.2 million here but if you buy it in Langkawi it's about 450 to 500,000 and why should you buy this car if you have the money well it's because this will be the last car that has an internal combustion engine that will be made by Lotus. Okay. So this particular one is the last one and it will definitely become a collector's item. And in 30 years or 40 years, this car will be worth a fortune. Whatever you pay for it, you will get it back many times over. Well, that's because Lotus have announced that the next car after this will be all electric. So we don't know if it's going to pan out like that, but this is what uh, they said. And therefore, I believe this is something you should look at very seriously if you're a car collector. Now, what you see here is not the actual model. This is the pre-production model and I've been told that it will have better wheels and some of the interior will be different from what you see today. But basically, this car has a 3.5 litre V6. It's a Toyota engine. There is a manual six-speed gearbox from iSIM or you can have it in automatic transmission. It will do 0 to 100 in 4.3 seconds and it will hit the top speed of 288 kilometers per hour. Now, just to give you an idea of the size of the car, yeah, all the sports cars look very big until you look at the dimensions. Uh, basically, this one has got a wheelbase of 2575 mm, an overall length of 4.4, uh, 4412 mm, that's about the length of a Corolla, I think, and height <laughs> is only 1.2. Okay, so we now know for sure that I am taller than 1.225 mm, right? And uh, width is less than 1.9. Yeah, it's 1.895 mm. Okay, let's dive into the looks. Now, this is the shape of cars I used to draw when I was a kid. I really love cars those days. And I used to dream and draw about cars. And this is the shape. This is the shape that a sports car should be like. So this is in the realm of supercars. You've got 400 horsepower, 420 newton meters of torque now that is something uh, worth looking at engine is mid-engine so it will handle like a dream okay drive is to the rear wheels mid-engine this is the magic ingredient for sports cars and this is the look look at it there is no more tub here the whole car is built on an aluminium uh, space frame so it's actually you can say that it is more or less built by hand, but of course they use a lot of automated uh, processes and they can actually produce this car in quite reasonably large numbers, which probably explains why you can buy it pretty uh, reasonably priced, because without duty, you can pick this up in Langkawi, 450 to 500,000, yeah. So in terms of looks, it's got the looks. Of course, it's got LED headlights, but you don't want to bother about that, right? So let's go further. Take a look at the side profile. It's a lovely car. It's two-seater. That is why it can survive on 2565 mm of uh, wheelbase. Well, just for information, the Supra runs 2450, which is even shorter wheelbase. So this car actually is a bit longer than the Supra and uh, here's a look at the front wheels now the actual car that will come will have different wheels these are 370 mm ventilated discs and of course they are also drilled and uh, according to the man from Lotus who was here today he said that these are AP brakes yeah the brakes are from AP but of course they are made for Lotus and what you can see here is you have uh, four port caliper the suspension is wishbones at the front so guys this car is built like a race car if you can see through the wheels to the inside you can see the aluminium space frame that is just peeping out yeah i can also see the wishbone arms are also made of aluminium now this car is made to be light 
the total weight of this car despite the fact that it has a 3.5 liter v6 engine is 1405 kilograms so this car has got good power here's a look along the side you can see it down there those are the side pods and they are all uh, aerodynamically tested and this is the intake pod one of the intakes for the engine i think is either to take in air or to help to cool the engine bay and you can see here the rear brakes they are 350 mm now the front is 370 so the rear is 350 and oh my gosh there's a slightly smaller four pot caliper and uh, yeah they don't stinge on the brakes man so the rear brakes are also ventilated and from the look of the suspension it looks like it is also double wishbone and this is the stuff that sports cars are made of and at the back you can see that little gray color caliper that's for the handbrake so at the back this is what the sports car really should look like i really love this and you can see the exhausts are not an afterthought they are built into the body of the car and there's a lot of fiberglass parts and uh, carbon fiber and also uh, carbon reinforced plastic FRP parts so that also helps to explain why the body weight is light and light means powerful okay a lot of people think that light cars cannot handle but it's all in the suspension okay so let's see how you open this door press yeah okay so that's the inside of the car and let's take a closer look so whilst it is a sports car uh, i think lotus have gone one step further to make it more like a supercar because you get napa or alcantara leather you can opt for one or the other of course you pay a different price for each of the upgrades and the inside is lovely it has also surprisingly this lotus comes with all the adas features like uh, collision mitigation or autonomous braking lane keep and lane watch and things like that so yeah it comes with full safety features so for those who like safety fine it's there moving closer you see the of course that's the gear shift and it is a manual in this case and uh, other than that instrumentation is electronic there's a 12.3 inch uh, instrument cluster and also a 10.25 inch uh, infotainment screen and of course uh, as expected it comes with um, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto let's go over to the driver's side I came to this side because I was thinking about uh, right hand drive but of course this is a car that's going around the world on display you can order the car and, and the actual finish will be slightly different because we've been told that this is a pre-production model so whatever it is that comes it will be better than this so let's just mosey over to the driver's side and have a look the driver gets a i think it's a 12-way or 8-way adjustable seat but who cares and uh, it's electrical control so you get a hint of luxury uh, despite it being a raw performance car so you can say that this is performance mixed with luxury and premium and that's the steering wheel huh it's not round and it looks like it's upside down yeah well i suppose it's for the people who will buy this car because uh, because of the price it's expensive and so therefore the owners are likely to be older i suppose because the people who buy these cars are those who will buy it to keep it and to enjoy it they don't necessarily drive fast but they can if they want to and uh, so you can see the flat bottom steering wheel that's to clear your thighs if you are not so slim and uh, the top is also square so when the steering wheel turns down at least well it doesn't go down that far uh, all the time but it will help to keep your thighs relatively free but of course i would expect that this would have a close ratio steering wheel they don't even have to tell me but that's what it is okay of course it also has push button start and these are the seats and of course there is no rear passenger available 
Okay guys, so that's it for the Lotus Emira. I hope you like our presentation. But pretty soon we will be selling this car too, hopefully. And so anyway, order taking is open and first deliveries are expected in August this year. And if you want this car, do drop us a line at 016-335-0609. Right guys, thanks for watching and till we meet again in the next video. Bye bye.